And I, I want to congratulate our parliament for being very, very strong. But also, there is also another cultural clash. Here, I am a homosexual. What are you telling us now? So, that publicizing, publicizing is, is, is also totally unacceptable. So therefore, the bill is coming to me, I haven't seen it yet, but when it comes, I will call you and, 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 and we, 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 shall, we shall harmonize and, and protect our, our, our children. There will be no... There will be no promotion of homosexuality in Uganda. How can somebody think like this? Looking at me and thinking that I am be, to be told, do this, do that, eh, because of some little help. <laughs> it's, it's really madness. So, finally, I want to assure Madam Slata that there will be no comprehensive sex education here. And that is that Uganda stood as an example when all the UN agencies were pressuring you and all the other ESA countries to sign on for a second round of what is called the ESA Commitment on Comprehensive Sexuality Education and linking them to sexual and reproductive health services. I've devoted a great deal of my life to identifying and exposing those programs on the ground, particularly in African countries. Your Excellency, a person proposing that there should be same-sex marriages or same-sex sexual relationships is a person that is not just attacking the family but a person seeking to wipe the entire humanity out of the face of this earth. We are at this stage, we would like to appeal to your excellency, we so much admire you because of what you stand for, for the African values.